This is problem number seven from section 2.4. This problem they say they want us to graph f. f is our function, f of x, and it's a piecewise function with three different uh, parts to it. So if we want to graph this, first of all, we want to look at the endpoints uh, of each of these functions, and we want to graph them separately using just the endpoints. I think that's the easiest way to do it. We know they're each linear, right? So they're straight lines, so we can, we can graph it pretty easily that way. So let's draw a coordinate plane. We'll mark it from negative four to four. So we'll call this negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, one, two, three, four. Now you can see it's not evenly spaced there. We're doing this by hand. If you obviously use a graphing calculator, it'll be a little bit more exact. All right, we want to plug in negative four and negative two into this function. So if I say f of negative four, I get negative a half times negative four plus two. Well, negative half times negative four, that's two plus two is four. So my coordinate here would be negative four, four. So let's go to negative four, four. One, two, three, four. Negative four, four is right here, and it's a equal sign, so it's a closed dot. Right there. Let's do f of negative two. Now this is f of negative two for the top function. You gotta keep that in mind. So this is negative one half, uh, negative two, plus two. Well, this will give you one, so this gives you three. So one plus two is three. So negative two, three. Negative two, three is right here. It's also closed because of the equal sign. We can connect those two points. Now, if we look at the second part, the, this one here is not equal to. So we're gonna plug negative two in to this function as well. So f of negative two, and maybe I'll label these. Let's go label one, two, three, so this is for one and one, now we're going to go two, right, function two, f of negative two is two minus two times negative two. When I plug in negative two, I get four here, plus two is six, so I'm going to get uh, negative two, six, it's four, five, six, but it's an open dot here because negative two is not equal to x in this situation for this function. So let's plug in one now, so this is for the function two still, f of one. When I plug in f of one, I get two minus two times one, which is, uh, well, two minus two is zero, right? So we get zero for that function. So we have, uh, let's see, we plug in one, so we have one comma zero, one comma zero is right here, but this is equal to so we can connect this line like so. Finally, we're gonna do this for th the third function. We're gonna plug in one. We plug in f of one, we get one third times one plus five thirds. That gives you six thirds, which is two. So now we're at one, two, and remember it's not equal to here. So one, two is the coordinate. All right, plugged in one, got two. One, two, open dot. Now let's do this for f of four. One third times four plus five thirds. One third times four, it's gonna give you four thirds plus five thirds is nine thirds, which is three, so we get four, three. One, two, three, yeah, so one, two, three, four. Three is right here. This is a closed dot because it says equal to, so I'm gonna go right here, four, three, and I can connect those. Uh, this right here. And that's our piecewise function. And that's how you graph it, pretty simple.